they are projecting that at you because of something you feel within yourself, for a start. So you have doubts about what I'm saying, about whether I'm Jesus or not, and those kind of things, right? Which they are just reflecting back at you anyway, that you need to let yourself feel. If you make a choice to just feel all of your own emotions, no matter what is projected at you, then what will happen is that you will feel in that instance. So when somebody says to you, oh, AJ's just a cult leader, there's a feeling inside of you where you think that might be true. There's a feeling of mistrust. There's a feeling of, you know, can I really trust this guy? You know, what's he going to do down the track? Those feelings are, are there inside. It's just we don't want to acknowledge them, right? The key is to then go into them, acknowledge they exist, because I, my law of attraction has just shown me that I do feel it, right? And then go into those emotions and let yourself feel about that completely. Let yourself go into the feeling of feeling like that you can't trust a male or that you can't trust me specifically, if that's what the feeling is. And go into that feeling, let yourself feel that feeling. It, it, I've been thinking that it's a feeling of judgment, that feeling of judging to where I'm at. And I'm thinking that maybe that's what they're reflecting to me, that maybe I'm judging other people. Well, there's, there's another emotion that's attracted it for you, and that is when people judge you, you are very tempted to try and conciliatory, be conciliatory to them. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. So for, this happens for many of us, right? We, when somebody judges us, we have a tendency to try to change our behaviour mm -hmm. to suit what they, to make it easier on them, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of standing firm for truth, whatever the truth is within our heart. So that is another emotion that's getting triggered in that interaction. If you allow yourself to ask yourself, well, why am I having people stay in my home who are judging me? And you will be able to see that you actually are, have other reasons why you're having them stay in your home, but you're actually allowing them to harm you through their judgments by having them stay. Because, you know, they help you in other ways, and so there's this trade-off going. You're almost paying a price. The price is, I've got to put up with your judgment and I'll get something in return now. Do you know what I mean? And, and what's being triggered for you is this emotion of how much, how much am I going to sort of prostitute myself, if it really is, in a way, to, to get what I need. How much am I going to allow people to damage me to get what I need? And uh, you'll find when you don't compromise these issues of truth, ironically what happens is that you get what you need without compromise. But it's only after you've learnt that lesson emotionally. Yep. Uh, and I said, yeah, I'm not going to win if I uh, try and argue back. So I'm just going to sit here and cop a sweep and it'll be over in a few minutes and then I'll just get up and walk out. Well, let's go into the anger. So let's go in the anger, go out the punching bag, right? And go, fuck it, I'm not going to What are they doing to me? They are, what are they really doing to me? They're judging me, but let's go into that. Let's go into the anger of that. How do you feel when you get judged? Go into the anger of that. Unworthy. Well, firstly, we feel defensive and angry, don't we? Yeah. Right. So let's get into the rage. You get into the rage. Really get into that rage. Right? And once we step underneath the rage, what we'll find is that underneath the, the feeling of being judged is some terrible feelings about ourselves that are triggering, perhaps. Or a feeling that I'm not allowed to do what I want. I feel like they don't, they don't know who I am. Like exactly. Exactly. So the feeling of they don't see me will come up straight after you let the anger come up. And then you've got to ask yourself the question, do I want to live with people who don't see me? Does any of you want to live with a person who doesn't see you? Like, is it nice? So why are you still living with them then? Can you see that, that, can you see that straight away I'm making decisions See, oftentimes we still continue to make decisions in disharmony with love of self, right? So we live with a person who's unloving to us, and we stay there. Why do we do that? Because of other reasons, isn't it, generally? So deal with those other emotions, release those emotions, and you won't want to stay there anymore. You'll, you'll feel it's wrong to stay there. And you may, you may say to them, look, I love you, too, I love you so much, but I, we're going to be apart for a while until you work out that how you're treating me is unloving. So sometimes we don't want to make that decision. A lot, a lot of times dealing with our emotions are quite simple like that. 
we, we keep on going in a terrible situation, painful situation, terrible situation, we keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. In the end, we just don't want to make a decision to leave it. So we must have some really big addiction inside of myself. Does that make sense? I must have a huge addiction inside of myself if I don't want to leave a situation that's painful. Um, so get sure of your own yeah, truth, yeah. Sure. And the only way you do that is by yeah. feeling your feelings, yeah. yep. So, you know, allow yeah. yourself to understand because what's if going I was, on. If I was sure of it, then that wouldn't, what other people were saying wouldn't bother me. No, but see, a lot of people use the excuse of, oh, that doesn't bother me, so they stay in it anyway, yeah. saying they don't. The truth is that if you're getting judged all the time, at some level, it's going to... You are not being loving for, of, of yourself, staying there. Yeah. So, so why? You know, go deeper into that, rather than justify your actions. You know, you could say, oh, but I might lose my home. Yes, you might. Oh, but I might lose my family. Yes, you might. The truth is that when you want to really connect with God, there are many things you may lose initially. Right? But you'll gain back heaps and heaps. Later on, as you work through these emotions, you will. It's just that we don't trust that at the moment, do we, sometimes?